Tannenol Electronics, we are back. Now today we have an LS460. This is a Lexus obviously, and we're gonna show you how to remove the navigation. Um, a lot of times we have um, issues with lighting in the stereo, lighting in the heater controls, lighting in the navigation. Um, also a very common problem is lighting in these switches in the center console. So we're going to kind of show you how to get everything out of here to ship this in for repair and also just bring light of the situation um, of the um, the lighting issues on 07 and up LS460. So you'll find some, if you, at night you'll look and see and you'll see um, some dim spots. That's normal. That's just lighting that failed. Same with all this. Thing you want to remember though is when we replace the lighting it's going to be more of a bright white color it's not going to match the bluish tint that the factory has because um, lexus designed those leds to their specifications when the car came out so they might be an exact um, temperature range and that's just not something that's available in the aftermarket so if you're going to do the center console i mean we recommend doing everything so all the lighting matches new uh, but that's up to you. So this video will kind of show how to remove everything and some tips and tricks and getting everything out and some um, strange prices that uh, we've we've seen from Lexus and uh, like this this vent assembly. A lot of times these vents will crack and disintegrate. Well, this whole panel is like four hundred dollars, so you have to replace the entire outside panel. So that's it. Next step, uh, we'll just talk about how to get it out. All right, so for the removal, step one, this is gonna be very similar to any other Lexus model in the GX video that you might have seen um, already that we posted, but you're probably gonna need a 10 millimeter with an extension, uh, Phillips, and then a couple dash trim removal tools. If there's anything else that pops up, I will cover that. But first you have to remove these side panels here. And they just pop off and the back slides forward. So pop off the front and then these little sideways tabs lock in uh, horizontally or vertically or however you want to put it. So we'll just set that aside. I'm just going to set that in back. And same on the left side or the passenger side. If any of these clips break, you can buy them from Toyota or Lexus. You don't have to buy the whole panel. Just FYI on that these little plastic uh, white clips if the actual plastic breaks on this you can actually plastic weld it back together um, the various fenders and whatnot that have plastic welders that works very well um, and then the next step we will get into in just a second all right step two we have to remove this piece right here little plastic trim piece that pulls straight out um, next we have two Phillips screws or bolts because they're also 10 millimeter this is securing the center console assembly to um, kind of the, the frame structure of the center console if that makes sense and I like to just put bolts Somewhere where they won't get lost. Got to remove the shift knob. Spins off. And then, I'm going to pull straight up on the center console assembly. This protector in here, this little plastic piece is available separately. A lot of times these get super hard and brittle and crack and then you don't have any kind of shield for stuff getting in and falling um, you know inside there so that you can get separately and we can just put this to the side uh, next is the ashtray and or storage console here 
again just kind of pops out of there now you might have to do that to move the shifter out of the way this is again held in by one plug there okay. now we will move on to the center all right next up we've got a screw on each side and you can see where I'm accessing them here just like so this holds the stereo assembly in and the same on the other side be careful so they don't disappear on you this is actually a bolt not a screw bolt you will also need an eight millimeter, I realized. So go find your eight millimeter. And I'm gonna attempt to get this one out of here. Just like so. Perfect. Okay, once that's done, your stereo assembly should pop straight out of here. Although, could have some difficulties. Nope. There we go. So you don't want to, um, this, this material is very um, sticky sometimes and and very soft so you don't want to pry in between here otherwise you'll leave a mark or tear this at worst worst case so there's a little bit of space on the bottom you can kind of get a tool in and then twist same on this side get that tool in there and just twist it so you can get your fingers in there and pop it out just like that okay and then this I'll see, this is going to be difficult because I'll just take it out. We've got to get in there deeper to get the navigation uh, screws out. So I'm not even going to mess with it. All these connectors, they just have little push tabs. You push the tab and then pull at the same time. And then that'll come out. And your stereo's free. Okay, now here's where you're going to need that 8mm. Uh, right there. There's going to be two screws on the far left and then the far right side. Way up there. So find those screws and take them out, 8 millimeter. I'm going to get those loose and then we'll be right back. Okay, I got the two screws out. They're very small. This 8 millimeter, um, or you can use Phillips again. And these two screws are the only two screws holding this entire assembly in. Now, you need to be careful, like I said, because these top vents, this top trim up here is very fragile and brittle over the years. So you don't want to pry up there and have it break and crumble because that's what's going to happen to you. Very gently, again, there's tabs on the bottom, there's tabs on the top. Just work it loose carefully. Don't stick anything in between the dash and the trim because you're going to ruin your dash more than it's already ruined. This dash was replaced so it's brand new from the Lexus recall or whatever they had on the sticky dash. And I think Lexus actually broke this piece, so it was replaced. And that's it. It comes right out of there. Now, um, let me switch angles here. Actually, no, we can do it this way. All right. So there's a bunch of wires back here. Obviously, Disconnect them all. Some wires, some plugs might not have a, a wire. Just keep that in mind. Um, so you're not searching forever to find, you know, missing wires or whatnot. So that's it. 
Just remove uh, everything and uh, your assembly is free. Now I'm going to mention again this foam because I love talking about my vent foam here. Since this panel is actually replaced uh, somewhat recently, it's actually a picture of what the foam looks like when it's uh, when it's all intact. Just turn this. Oh, that's good. So here you can see how wide that foam goes, and it seals it to the the duct. So. That's what I'm talking about. And then when you close it, you have that foam sealing the gap between the vent and the duct. So does that make sense now? So when the vent is closed, you're not going to feel air, and that's, that's how it should be. And again, these little clips are available. If you lose them or whatever, you can just call up Toyota and get them. And uh, yeah, so that's all we got. All right, so after the removal, we got a pile of parts here. You might be wondering what to ship in, what not to ship in. Well, we don't need this entire assembly. It's just going to be hard to ship, expensive to ship, and it's going to break. So really, all we need is the display panel assembly from behind here. So remove your plastic trim. Keep that safe so it doesn't get broken. Um, the center console, again, you can remove these switches, pop them out of the back side, and then just send the, sh the switches. We don't need the entire panel. If you're sending in the stereo, no big deal. You can send the whole stereo because it's all complete. Um, just be careful when you're shipping because these have little legs coming out. You don't want these to break in the shipping because that would be very bad. So that's it. Hopefully it's pretty straightforward for everybody. And uh we can get your lighting working again. So thanks for watching. Take care.